Howdy y'all. Hi guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From Warefoot. RNA Music. I mean RNA Music. Your favorite mom and pop guitar shop and music lesson studio. In the world! Yeah, you're your absolute most favorite ever that ever happened. I'd like to think so anyways. I think so. I'm arrogant though. Yeah, a little bit. So arrogant. And uh, <laughs> we're here to answer your questions. Yay! Let's get to it, shall we? Yeah. First question, Dastardly Dave. That's just the <laughs> funnest name to say. Dastardly Dave. Hey, R and A and B B. Uh, it's B B M. No. <laughs> this question is for the Bitter Bass Man. I have owned many Fender basses, is is is, but I just bought a used Reverend Dub King. It is my first short scale bass. I just restrung it with the Diderio XL Chromes short scale mm. 45 100. Woo -woo. Uh, not sure I really like them. Any recommendations for short scales? Question, question. Thanks in advance. So excited. Well, y'all got real lucky because we're shooting this on a not normal day, but Paul Just showed up anyways. Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. That was very dastardly uh, of you. Huh? It's not <laughs> a short one anymore. Yeah, you uh, got to get the extra tall stool over there. Yeah. I got to find the other chair. Yeah. No BBM. How convenient. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm not sure if he's asking about short scale strings or actual short scale basses. I'm a little, a little bit of both. I think, I think it's think. both. Well, I don't play short scale basses because I like a lot of notes. You just ask them. All the notes. All the notes. Mm -hmm. Which ones do I play? All of them. Plus yeah. more. Twice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, as far as strings, I'm always a uh, big fan. I don't think any matters any scale base is the the Dario. The Dario. Super lights. Yep. Uh, but they're nickel wound. Mm -hmm. Not the chromes. Nickel wound. Yeah. Just the plain Jane ones. Nothing special. Mm -hmm. Super light would be 45 to like, no it's 40 to 95. 40 to 95. Gotcha. Because it's like playing with it on air. So easy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Barely an inconvenience. Real relaxing on the hand. <laughs> you don't. Man, you don't I hate having overly, multiple personalities. You don't overly <laughs> strain, right? Right. The heavier strings are a lot more fatiguing. Exactly. Why work that hard? Well, if you want curvature of the fingers, always get the heavier string. Yeah. It's a muscle. If you want to build great hand strength. What about bases? No short scale bases. You ever played like a Fender? What are they called? Not a Mustang. They have a. There's one Fender bass that's real popular. That's a short scale, a shorty short. I've never played a short. I've played. I went from normal to uh, super long. Yeah. You never don't want no back. short short bass. Mm -mm. You don't have enough notes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hope that answers your question, dastardly Dave. If not, <laughs> I'm can, sorry. You can ask uh, next week. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, Clifford Brown. Hey Ryan and Angela, love your videos, your family, and your choice of friends, aka Bitter Bass Man. Oh, I wow. would question his choice of friends. <laughs> I'd probably, wait, honestly, I'm probably, I would too. You're the sketchiest <laughs> friend I have. <laughs> I think. Wait, is he? Probably. No? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Probably not the most polite at times. Mm. Well, he's, the, polite. he's the non censored, mm. unless kids are around. Yeah, and we're on family friendly friendly YouTube. Videos. Yes. What are you growling for? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, think I don't know about that. I think he's definitely the sketchiest friend I have. Most honest. Yeah. Yeah. He's my best friend, but also the most sketchy. Right. <laughs> chicka chicka. Chicka chicka. Um, <laughs> one, Ryan and BB. M, M. What are your thoughts on multi effects units you know, like the Head Rush, Gig Board, or Helix? HX, I'm considering trying one with my bass Ooh. guitar. Uh, two, Ryan, what do you use on your beard to keep it straight and manageable? Mine wants to curl and go where it wants to go. <laughs> Hashtag KTMA. Uh, Paul, your thoughts on multi effects well, units? My first thought is if this is a family friendly show, <laughs> we need to get out the BBM. I mean, I know a lot of innocent minds 
out there not sure what that means, but please don't look it up. <laughs> well, maybe it's going to mean something new now, and it'll mean Bitter Basement. Well, let's hope so. As far as effect pedals, is that what he's asking? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't use effects. Uh, the only time I will use an effect is if I'm trying to get a cleaner tone of the natural strings. But as far as phasers, chorus, I really don't use a lot of them. I could actually on bass. On bass. Mm -hmm. I could actually, yeah. All the guitar parts I play on my songs are nothing but effects. It's all yeah. effects. It's all effects. So I'll play the guitar parts with effects, and then I use whatever is built into the program that I'm using at the time. Or mm -hmm. I sometimes I use go back to my boss pedal, and mm -hmm. I do plug a guitar in through a bass effects pedal. Yeah, you've got what's it? It's a boss. Eighty six. It's not a GT. It's a bass. It's red. BM six. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe. GTB. I don't use it a lot. It's a like GTB said, six. Somebody owed me money and they decided to give me a bass and an effects pedal. <laughs> they <laughs> they just, broke their kneecaps. They decided <laughs> to give me the bass. Hey, I'm here to collect. Bass pedal. <laughs> you owe me some money. <laughs> that's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty much how it worked. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Guy owes me money. Not? He's like, well, pay me in time. He's like, will, will, you take, to... will you take this? And I was like, I want the pedal too. You're about to break his thumbs, but he came up with some bass pedals. He did. Yeah, so. a bass and a bass pedal. <laughs> I sold the bass and kept the pedal board. It's got a wah on it. It does. Yeah. There's some cool sounds. We got cool sounds. I just cool don't now. use them. I play all natural <laughs> All, all natty. He's an all natty bass player. No steroids. Um, you know, I'm not real big on a lot of effects, like on my pedal board. If you watched our vlog from last weekend, you saw my friend Steven's pedal board, which yes. is like the space mm -hmm. shuttle. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy, right? And of course, if you have a problem like we did yeah. last week, it's like it took an hour and a half to figure out how to make it work. Um, so I don't do. I mean, I have I have a pedal board with a delay, a reverb, an overdrive. I think I have a phaser that I never use because phasers are associated with Star Trek. If it was called the lightsaber, I'd probably use it, but um, I'm not super big on that. I did just get a Katana amp that's got a crack load of built-in Katana. <laughs> Katana, a Katana Boss amplifier. Somebody's got some pops out there. Mm -hmm. Yeehaw! Welcome to Texas. And um, I'm kind of messing around with that, but I'm not super mega huge on all the effects it would be fun to have one just to kind of play with and get sounds with but i don't know that i would actually use them quite a lot well even on the songs we use very minimal it's even just a little bit of reverb and amp and the offer i like a touch of reverb and a little bit of uh delay 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 but that's about it so you that know, was funny to me. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Angela was not amused. I know. I, I, <laughs> I feel like sitting sideways, I should be like... <laughs> uh, Ryan, what do you use on your beard to keep it straight and manageable? Mine wants to curl and go where it wants to go. Well, I'm just amazing and it's all natural. Not really. I mean, I'm amazing, but... Um, I don't always use... Like today, I didn't use anything. I didn't, I, he, no, nothing. No, he, I he, brushed it. He brushes I brush. it and he does this all day. And when he eats something like sauce or something, he'll go like that. <laughs> and he just, just, he <laughs> messes with it and tweaks it and he pulls on it and he messes with it all day long. All day long. And when I eat Every oatmeal, day. I tuck it in my shirt. Because who wants oatmeal in their beard well, actually, or beard it, in their oatmeal? Isn't that good for your hair? I don't know. Oatmeal? Well, I do use beard oil from time to time. Sea Wolf. That's my flavor. Angela doesn't like it, unfortunately. Mm -mm. I don't like the beard oil that smells like wood chips. Like you just came out of a wood chipper. I'm not a big fan of that. They, so. they have friends who sell something and they promote it called Beard Commander. Really? They have really long, long ZZ Top beards. And, and you're friends with them? Yeah. You could hook me up. Uh... Yeah, get me a promo thing. Jason Heron's band. I don't know if you guys know him. He's a local East Texas artist. I don't know. Uh, and Clint and his brother play in a band. They're gingers and they have really long beards. Mm -hmm. They use this stuff and every time they walk it actually sways. It sways. It's like a gel or an oil. Nice. <laughs> I will never grow a beard. So I just 
You can grow a mega goatee though. I can't. I actually started. I use beard oil and I use, uh, lately I've been using Honest Amish because the Amish have beards for many hundreds of years now. And it's like we a, most um, lives, what's it called? It's, it's not a pomade. It's, it's a, dang, I forgot what it was called. But it's like a, it's kind of like a gel pomade thing that you use to kind of keep the frizzies from flying away so you don't get like, you know. Crazy homeless man beard. Crazy homeless beard. Mm -hmm. um, so I use that, the beard oil usually, um, and then the uh, balm, beard balm. It's a bomb. Oh, yeah, it's a bomb. Beard bomb. Not all the time. Mm -hmm. Like some days I can't be bothered to do it. <laughs> but a lot of times will. But also go to the barber and you gotta trim like the sides right here. You gotta trim this part because that just wants to go like all like predator on you. Just go like the side of Or Jurassic Park. All right. So you gotta trim the sides a little bit. <laughs> That's what I use. A lot of Jurassic Park references. Yeah, well. It was a good movie. It was. The first one. Clifford Brown. Thank you so much for the question. Next question. Just fun guitar. Great answers. The comic was after the cartoon, but Transformers, but the Diaclone toy line was before both, and Rumble was blue and Frenzy was red for the toys. Okay. There you go. All right. So new question. It's always blue. Do, on your D'Addario strap locks, does it squeak a little sometimes when it moves? <laughs> I have some, and it does squeak whilst, whilst my shawler ones do not. I have about five straps with Schaller and do not have that issue. I do find the D'Addario ones easier and quicker to fit though and they are cheaper too. Uh, yeah, I have noticed on my guitars with the D'Addario mm -hmm. strap locks. Like the, well not that one. This one. Oh, that's sweet. All right. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Is that enough? I guess. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit of squeakage. A little bit of squeakage in there, I've noticed, but um, nothing to really that's come up that was like, oh, it was too much while I was playing or distracting. And it's only in certain when you wiggle it a little bit. It's not all the time. So I have noticed that, but it certainly hasn't been a deal breaker for me. Um, and they are super easy to install, which I do. Barely an inconvenience. Yeah, super easy, barely an inconvenience to install those mothers on your guitar. So I'm still a fan, but yeah, I've experienced some squeakage as well. <laughs> Thanks for the question, just fun guitar. Squeakage. The older I get, the more squeakage I <laughs> yeah. myself Not leakage, <laughs> squeakage. Squeak. Squeakage. Squeak. <clears throat> Justin Maybe. Or Mabe. Justin Mabe. Yeah, every time. With the next question. <clears throat> what would you rather give up? Playing guitar or eating Tex's barbecue? Ooh. Which would you give up? Playing guitar. <laughs> Shh. Personally, because I don't play. So there's really not a you, loss there. You somewhat play. Mm. Barely. Mm. A little bit. You play a little bit. Mm. A wee little bit. Mm. You do. Mm. Alright, Paul. <laughs> Are you counting a bass, a guitar? No, he said guitar. No. Well, then... <laughs> I'd give up playing guitar because I, I could play guitar parts on the bass still. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Would you give up bass or Texas barbecue? Yeah, it'd have to be Texas barbecue. Yeah. I, was, I had a woman in my life once told me to give up playing music. I did for a year because I was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That was, that was a bad decision. You were. I was. So you stick with the guitar. I have all the barbecue. I share what I have with you. You wouldn't have to give it up. No, it says you, you, you can't. You have no, to he said eating. Texas barbecue. Says, what oh, about wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Alabama barbecue? Ooh. Or Alaskan barbecue? <laughs> or Ohioan barbecue? Ohio. Yeah, that's all. Uh, um, uh, I would give barbecue. I would give up Texas barbecue. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty easily because I don't really eat it that often. It's well, actually I get it about once a month. Well, you know. I'll do run down the street to Backwoods. That's where I go. Maybe, it used to be actually more often, but lately it's only been like once, maybe once a month or something. Yeah. But I could, I could totally give that up. Yeah. I couldn't give up guitar. It wouldn't happen. Mm -mm. So yeah, Texas barbecue. See you later, son. Yeah, because he just says Texas barbecue. Yeah. I'd, I'm just cruising up to Oklahoma and get me some real quick. 
<laughs> Give me some oaky barbecue. Oh, it's just okay. It's only it's, yeah, it's okay. It's just okay barbecue. Yeah. Was that four hours to Oklahoma? Something like that. Depends no, not Oklahoma. even that far. It's oh, like not to three. Oklahoma. It's like two, two and, and a half. half. Yeah, there you go. Right over the border where they have Oklahoma Texas flavored Oklahoma barbecue and gambling and <laughs> casinos. <laughs> where do they have barbecue at the casinos? I bet they do. I'm, I'm sure they, they do. should. <laughs> Thanks for the question, Justin. So they'd both give up guitar. I would not. Mm -hmm. Big John from Flo Rida with the next question. Howdy, Big, Big John. John. He has a beard. What's up? Yes, he does. He has a beard. Acceptable. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys, Ryan. It is common knowledge of your fear of cute and cuddly sharks. Speaking of which, I added the Meg today. <gasps> oh, great. Yes, I haven't seen it. I thought you have seen it. No, the boys did. Oh, okay. Well, I added it today because it was on sale. Yes. On voodoo. On voodoo. Uh, Thanks, Paul. You're welcome. How do you feel about orcas, a.k.a. killer whales? <laughs> Angela, there's only one licorice to rule them all, black. And Paul, I remember seeing a pic of you with a stand-up bass. Do you still play one, and do you like psychobilly? There is another question for you. Okay. <laughs> How about that? How do I feel? Well, first of all, sharks are not, neither cute nor cuddly. They're killers. And I've been watching the videos on Facebook, so don't send them to me because I've already seen them. Aren't we all killers? Of the yes, you know the leading cause of death of uh, humans is other humans. Is death? Yeah, <laughs> it's death. It's like... um, I've been watching the videos of the people swimming and touching oh. the great white yeah, shark. That's pretty creepy. That was like, stupid. That was, that was that's the like, dumbest thing I have people ever are seen. People are stupid. Okay, people yeah. Are stupid. Admire beauty. I think the shark is beautiful from afar or a cage. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't even do the cage, but come on, it's a great white. Go swimming with great white sharks. That's oh, just it dumb. bit me. The shark's bad. Yeah. No, you're stupid. That's dumb because at any second it could be like, you know what? I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. You kind of look like. Yeah. A, come on, guys. You look like a porpoise. You've yeah. been with women before when they get hangry, they turn into different people. I imagine the shark being the same way. I think that shark was pregnant too. They talked about it. And it's like, those bite your head <laughs> off. You throw food at them. Like, oh, yeah, the only two sharks I've baby. ever really liked was Bruce from Nemo. Hello. I never knew my father. And the shark Oculus. from the little shark cartoon. I can't remember what it was called. That was with the Pink Panther cartoons. Jabberjaw. Was it called Jabberjaw? The one with the band who would run around on his little fins. Jabber, 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 jabber. But it would have the, the dun, dun. Dun dun dun! And they had the jaws, mouth open, and then the cartoon like, and then there would be the anteater cartoon would come on, and Pink Panther would come on, and then there was the oh no, Jabberjaw was after that. And it was like the shark, and he would come on land, and and then they, of course, the Pink Panther would always like hit him and stuff. Land shark? Yeah. It was like, it was, <laughs> Sounds terrible. What about? It was funny. It was funny. I remember. What about street sharks? That when Ninja Turtles came out, they did the muscular <laughs> bodies with the shark. Face oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> there are no Ninja Turtles. But I like that one. It was so funny. I thought it was a funny cartoon when I was a kid. I always look forward to it. One of the theme song would come on and run inside the room. Because I think he had a British accent or something. I can't remember now. That makes sense. But I did. I Yeah, Bruce from Nemo. What about the shark like from the Saturday Night Live from the 70s? <laughs> you know that when you yes, knock on the door? I you show up at the Who side. is it? Yeah. Take yeah. They open the door into the shark. <laughs> just grab him. <laughs> yeah, that was good stuff. <laughs> that was Saturday Night oh Live. was funny. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Paul, uh, do you still play an upright bass and do you like Psycho Billy? Yeah. Anything about the black licorice? You uh, mm -mm. You're wrong. Yeah, that's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> I've never tasted black licorice that I actually was like, was like this yes. is all right. Yeah. It's pretty now good. Did you try say it? No. I'm I... usually like, oh. <laughs> nasty. If you yeah. see me driving down the road eating juji fruits, <laughs> you see black ones fly out. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the buzzards because they taste oh, like death. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. That I, green jujubes. Mm. And all that out the window. Mm -mm. When did you see the picture? Did we post the picture? Are you friends on Facebook? No, I didn't put that picture on Facebook. How did, did you I see put that, that picture? On? <gasps> One of the YouTube videos, remember? I put up a real quick clip of your senior, oh, was my senior. your senior year picture with your <laughs> upright bass. That was many <laughs> wow. videos ago. 
Never good memory. Of you on the yes. Uh, job, Big John, watching all the videos. <laughs> I actually Ooh, learned on an upright before I went to the electric bass. And I learned classical before I learned anything else. It was very boring parts at times. Yep. <laughs> uh, can I still play one? Absolutely. I can. I can ride a bike. They, they played one the other day. I'll go into a uh, store. I'll see the electric one. I'll pick up and play it. Electric uprights. But yeah, I can still play it. Hmm? As far as Psycho Billy, yeah, I enjoy Psycho Billy at times, depending on who it is. If you want to say my favorite Psycho Billy band would be the Flying Trick Subs out of Austin. They play Texas. Te yes. Is there another Austin? There is. Is but there? It's not as important as ours. They're upright. I like them because it was probably one of the first ones I was introduced to before... The from there, I went to the Reverend Horton Heat to uh, several others. Like on my iPod, I'll have just people I never heard of, but Psycho Billy stuff playing. Even the, oh, I forgot their name. The Living In. It's a punk band, but he plays an upright bass. They gave me a shout out. I'll give them a shout out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they're bass They're big fans. Yeah. Everyone's big. Their bass player's bitter as well. And they're. As he should be. No, he he didn't seem very bitter. Well, he's hiding it. Most bass players inside. are. Deep, deep. Um, deep down inside. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the Flame Trick Subs bass player only has one hand. They call him Lefty, but he doesn't have. He only has. His he part. doesn't have his left he hand. Has, like a nub. Yeah, on yeah. the left. That's mm -hmm. cool. That's his fretting. Yep. Fretting. That's, that's rock and roll. Yeah, he plays hardcore. He's a good bass player. That's awesome. And they're good on player. you, mate. Never let anything stop you. No, that, that that's this is the people out of Austin. Yeah, good on you, mate. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the Australian people. Yeah, I know. I'm just telling. That's awesome. Good for you. I mean, their drummer plays standing up. It's a chick. Female. Rock a on, lady sweetie. Has non-male body parts. <laughs> It makes sense. <laughs> There's only like 47 yeah. genders now. Paul, I know. So I have to be a little bit more specific there. But yes Don't and offend. yes to answer your question. There you go, Big John. <laughs> Next question. Have a good Florida. Uh, <laughs> have, a good, <laughs> have a good Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Walking Dead, 1369. So anywhere else I could send a pic with the RNA shirt. I gave up on Facebook a few years ago. Paul, what would be a good bass to have lying around for a guitar player? Just something to play around on with no intention of taking it on the stage. Uh, as far as sending your... Oh, that's a work foot shirt. As far as, far as sending your RNA music t-shirt pics, if you don't want to tag us on Facebook or Instagram, well, yeah. Maybe he's on Instagram. Instagram. He's not on Facebook. Yeah. Twitter does the same. But you could... Um, I don't check my tweeter very often. No. I got a, a tw Twitter... Tweeter. Twitter... <laughs> Yeah, tweeters He's Twitter, too. Twitter, tweeters. Just, uh, Twitter painted. Twitter order painted. Enter contest on Sideshow. <laughs> um, you can just shoot it to our email address. You can just email us your RNA swag pictures, and we'll oh, feature cool. them in some upcoming videos. Mm -hmm. I don't think I got any this last week. Or if I did, I missed it. <clears throat> I wasn't on Facebook every day, actually, either. Walking Dead, 1369. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, shoot us an email. Tag us in it there. We'll uh, put pictures up on our next video. Um, Paul, what's a good bass to have laying around for a guitar player? Just something to mess around with, not for gigging. If, again, it's that's going to be personal preference. If you want something with just just to play around on, there's I have a Squire. Where is it at? The little Squire bass. It's decent. I mean, if you're not going to be doing anything but recording or no recording and just plucking on it, uh -huh. I'd, I'd go cheap. Go Squire. That's my personal opinion. If you just want something with decent sound that's not too fancy, Fender. Or Schecter. Well, if you want to get higher brand, good quality, and something that you'll use for maybe a gig later, or you have a bass player friend who needs to borrow a bass, I would get a Schecter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Schecter makes some affordable basses. Yeah, they do. I, he just said one laying around. Yeah. I was like, if you want to go cheap, I'm going to go Squire. I think your I think your squire is a little harder to play than the action on it is too high right now. Yeah, than say Can't some you of the adjust shutters. that? You, you know, it's cheap or would it yeah. break? Well, yeah, I can. just I just got it as First, it. Yeah. It wasn't sent set up to play, but, oh, but I yeah, played it anyway. Sure. And the, actually, it, 
for me it was a workout base because it, the action was so high. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 you just lower the action a little bit and you got your good sounding bass. Yep. Awesome. There you go. I say go with a Schecter. Yeah. Schecters are a little bit pricier, but mm-hmm. they yes, are. They are better quality and you will enjoy but having them. You one can around. find a pretty sweet deal on a used or pre owned Schecter bass. Exactly. Because as much as I love my Schecters, they've made so many of them over the years since the 90s. Like right. They've made a plethora of Schecters. Right. There's just a lot of them. And so finding them used, you can find some Easy. pretty killer deals. So either one. Well, you Whichever. could go to a pawn shop, find an old non-brand name one that's beat up that has a great sound. Yeah. Throw some EMGs or in there. Put some EMGs in it. Makes everything sound great. There you go. <laughs> um, sure. There you so, go, Walking Dead. Yeah. There you go. Uh, next question, Brian Sexuar. I bought an EMG 81 TW to replace an old 81. Is it extremely too tall? Any thoughts? Mm. Cut it in half. <laughs> yeah. Uh, send it back. Buy a shorter one. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know what that is. Is he saying it's too tall, like, to the yeah. string? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, this is. I don't know if he would want to go take it out and have somebody. Well, you can't. So, all right. So here's the deal with the TW. It's a dual mode. So it's a it's a humbucker and a single coil that you can split, kind of like the the 89, but it's like an 81. So it's a splittable. But how EMG does it isn't just a humbucker that you split the coil. It's actually two pickups in one. There's a humbucker. I think they have a stacked single underneath it so you're actually switching from the humbucker pickup in the casing to the single coil in the casing it's got good reviews yeah so it's like really two in one but i think Mm -hmm. because of that it's probably a bit taller Mm -hmm. (laughs) than just a regular 81 so the um, you're probably not going to be able to use it i would guess i'm not a big fan of going in and like chiseling out some wood to make the pickup cavity deeper Yeah, no, I wouldn't necessarily do that. Isn't there like some cushion or something that normally goes inside of the inside some, of the casing sometimes. that he might be able to maybe remove or make that cushion thinner? But probably not. Okay. So you might just be stuck, man. Uh, you may have to just stick with a regular 81. But I would, you know, give EMG a call. They are super fantastic. I have talked to them several times to ask questions about, hey... Will this pickup work in this situation, or will this work? Can I swap this one for this one? And wiring options. And their customer service is really good. They're great. Now they're probably super busy right now with Nam. <laughs> oh, Nam is going on right now. Mm-hmm. I from the Flipside Music is there right now. Where? At the Nam show in California. I think we should go next year. Like I'll... all three of us. <sighs> what about the kids? They'll be fine. Nah, he'll be nineteen. He can babysit. That's true. I don't know. Like this time, when's your birth? When's his birthday? April. So he might even be closer to twenty. Yeah. He'll he'll be <laughs> he'll, he'll be, be a else. young adult. He's, I think he'll be. He's fine. already a young adult. He's not a kid anymore. <sighs> I can't say that. Need to, it's okay, Dad. It's okay. I think it would be cool to set up something just like this and have like the R- ask our name. So you're gonna ask R N A at Nam. Just have <laughs> it's stupid loud there. I know. Uh, when well, you get the little, I've you get, watched get the little from wire. afar. You being there and me not being there and you doing your thing there. I know that it's loud. Maybe we could take up a collection. (laughs) The same. Angela to Nam. Yes. (laughs) Just Angela? Well. Yes, no, because he would automatically pay for himself. So I'd have to get You want to pay for your wife? What's wrong with you? (laughs) I don't have bass player money, Paul. (laughs) I can't, you know. It costs several dozens of Benjamins to go to the Nam show. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I drop a, I'm glad it's not Florida though. I Florida. Drop a, yeah, it's summer Nam's pretty cool. Three days there was oh. summer Nam. Yeah, we keep talking about it, but stuff always seems to come up. Yep. Maybe next time. Thanks for the question, Brian. Final question, Terry Starks. Hey, gentlemen and gentlewoman and Paul. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually not the first time I. Had. I've been introduced like that. I'm Hi, not even close to like Hi, Ryan. top ten. Uh, hey, you. Paul, is Paul with you? But everybody likes you being there, so it's always just. But, yeah, they're just waiting for me to. 
I don't know. I don't know what they're waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> Do something what, poly. I don't know what they're expecting. Uh, something poly. I don't know. Uh, Ryan, if you hadn't taken the career path in music that you did, what other occupations would you have enjoyed doing? And also, Angela, I'm interested in your thoughts. Mm. FYI, I'm going to ask that crazy guy that owns a pop, not mom shop in Denver, this same question. Thanks for making 2018 very enjoyable and a great start to 2019. That guy. Is he talking about Ike? I can flip some music. music. Denver, Denver Colorado. Colorado. I haven't got my shirt yet. <laughs> but that's cool. <laughs> Whatever. He just told me a couple of weeks ago he was going to, you know. He's getting ready for Nam. That's fine. Uh, if Thank I hadn't you, taken the career path in music, well, it took a really long time to get to music, actually. Uh, so after college, which I went to school for music, I did teach in the public school arena for about a year. And then I started working for Paul <laughs> at the medical office. Okay, I was like, what? Developing x-rays. Uh, filing files, driving a patient pickup car, yeah. vacuuming the floor. We, we, learned, we did a little bit of everything. Yeah, did it all. Well, I was I was basically an office assistant, mm -hmm. a gopher. Painted the walls. Mm -hmm. Anything that needed to be done, I got it done. <laughs> Other than actually adjust the patients and diagnose <laughs> illnesses. And then from there, you you guys moved, right? Yeah. No, from there I got I went. We worked at a church. Yeah. As the oh, musicians. Okay, yeah. That church. Yeah. Stop it. So we were, we were actually were on staff at church as the music that was, our, that was a dark time in all of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. And then I did a lot of other stuff. We moved to Tulsa. I worked in sales. Um, I was pretty good at that, actually. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. I didn't, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. Um, but it took a while to get to, you know, we started already music. Nine years? Yeah, uh, about 10. And we were working on it. I so, know your first recital was in 2010. Yeah, mm -hmm. so for the last 10 years, I've been self-employed, and I really like that quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't know what I would have done. I'm not sure. No telling. That's a tough one. <laughs> Uh, I love music though, so I don't really want to do anything else. So let's, what was else was I interested in? Maybe having a, a comic book store. I, was I would have had a comic book store, and yeah, me and Paul would have worked together having a comic book store. I could see that. And that would have been super nerdy and super awesome. And toys and comics. Toys and comics. Statues. Yeah. Yeah, they'd have their own like hobby town. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But without all the race car stuff. Yeah, without all the lame RC crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boats. Be models of robots and yeah. yeah, yeah, that would be fun. That would be fun. Yeah, having a toy collectible toy shop. What's that show comic called? Books. The com a comic book man. Comic book man. The original comic book man. Yeah, <laughs> that would be us. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. What? Well, yeah. What are your thoughts? Well, I. What would you do, or what should I do? Probably what would I do because we've talked enough about you. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> if, if you hadn't, if you hadn't opened Arnie Music, Angela, what would you do? Oh realize? my gosh, she opened her own I, crochet yeah. shop. Yeah, art store. Um, probably a nurse of some kind, maybe, um, or lab tech because I did that in the past. But is you're it good what we it. do or what you want to do? Would you? What would, would I be you doing, enjoy doing? If I you had, enjoy doing that. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. You could have made a career out of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I like doing all kinds of things, and I'm not the kind of person to settle and do, like, the same thing over and over and over again. So I can't really settle on, like, what's your favorite music or what's your favorite food or what's your favorite... Because I like, I like everything. So um, I would probably do a little bit of everything. Definitely would have got my pilot's license of some kind, maybe, and I don't know. Flowing over shark-infested waters. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Tried a little bit of everything, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's a tough one. It's hard. It's hard to say. It is. Especially now, because it's hard to imagine doing something else now. After having done different jobs of all different kinds, worked for different a lot of different companies. I mean, I did a lot of stuff. Worked at a Pizza Hut. I worked at Target, worked at Walmart and twice. Best that sucks. Buy. I worked yeah. at Best Buy. That sucked too. I don't remember you working at Best Buy. In that was Tulsa. in Tulsa. 
Oh, I was about to say, I remember the, the wood place. I don't know what you did there. Done construction, worked in a, a factory where we made stuff out of wood, big chop saws, and like, I uh, worked briefly at a mobile home construction yeah, where we, we built first mobile homes. Got that sucked. It's <laughs> like, I don't like construction. Yeah. For me. I mean, I like it when other people do it. <laughs> if, well. if that's what they love, yeah. you do it. For it's me, I'm like, this enjoyable. Is, <laughs> I can do it. There was no joy. But there was no joy. It didn't bring me joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. It didn't bring me joy doing mm -hmm. construction work. So, you know, and at this point, I think, having been, having been self-employed for this long and also doing something I really do love, it's hard to imagine doing something else at this point, mm -hmm. really. So, mm -hmm. I'm really lucky, I think. Me too. Paul, what would you do if you weren't an epic administrator of awesomeness? My first... <laughs> I can't. No, say. no, 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 not that one. I know what you're gonna say. That doesn't. Let's that. just say my stage name would be the Italian Stallion. Yeah. Uh, besides being an actor, Creepy. being an actor, actually, I, in I, romantic movies. I always wanted to be uh, in the movies as a special effects artist. That's right. I did. I wanted to do all the background scenes and the monsters. That's before before everything became CGI. Mm -hmm. Yes, when they the actually... The models, like, if you had... models. The Star Wars models from the 70s, not CGI stuff. I wanted to do all that stuff. I still do models. <laughs> I still build models. Not still, do. I still build, build models. Not do. Build. Yes. <laughs> still do movie props. Yes. And that, they're more just on display at my house now. Movie prop quality models. Yes. Yeah. I could see that. Okay. Yeah. You'd be, or you'd, you'd probably be in some type of film because you used to make movies. Yeah, I, I want my dream. I don't, I don't care how cheesy the movie is. I want to be in a horror film. We just have to shoot our own. They have some people in Dallas. You look up, they're looking for free actors. I just never have time. Right, because you got to work a real job. <laughs> well. No, Sometimes you have to no, could be changing. No, no. Well, you know, <laughs> ask, ask Paul again in a month. Yeah. What he's up to, you know. What would you do? Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's all the questions. Yeah. For this week, me and Paul and Nicholas are going to go to a concert in just a little bit. Youngest, mm -hmm. we're gonna go do we're shoot each other with a paintball gun. Arcade, or? an arcade. Or is that the one at Duke's? At, no, no, at, at, uh, what's up? Gun at Barrel, Gun Barrel Where? City, Texas. There's one down the road at Duke's. Well, not like that, no. but there's an arcade at Duke's. There's mm. Duke's, then there's an arcade, and there's the ice cream place. Oh. I don't cream. know how good it is, but. Well, they have like go karts and uh, rock climbing walls. I'm not and going to the concert. I'm going to go ride go karts. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Something about riding go karts makes you feel young. Even though you could drive a car or any vehicle you want, <laughs> something about a go kart just, just takes you back to that time of, yeah. They're too small. Yeah, I don't like my knees being up. I always have whiplash when I'm done with them. Yeah. Well, they have bigger ones. And they have paintball there too. Mm. So that's that was pretty fun. Uh, so we're going to go to a rock show. They're going to go have fun, and um, Paul's not going to have a lot of adult beverages, because he has to, he doesn't have to drive. He can have as many as he wants. I, <laughs> I might have a couple. It is a Friday night. <laughs> it's Friday night. We're going to see Warefoot, Clicks, and Tyler. It's and, a bar. It is a bar <laughs> with pool tables. They got a pool table, too. They do have pool tables. They have many pool tables. You got a baby. That you can play pool in a bar. <laughs> it's a baby. What, <laughs> a bar. what is that off of? 
Uh, yeah, sweet home Alabama. Yeah, I'll never Reads with this thing. <laughs> All right. I just seen babies in the bar. I, <laughs> I know. So we will uh, see you guys in the next video. If you have a question for next week, please leave it below, and we will try to answer that question next time. Mm -hmm. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. And you need the music. And we need to keep it alive for Paul. Bitter bass players everywhere. So we need jobs. <laughs> <laughs> they need jobs. And uh, the next generation of musicians. Make it so. Of yes. all kinds. <laughs> yes. Make yes. it so, Wesley. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, Wesley. <laughs> Engage. Engage. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stop making fun of me because yeah, I look slap worse. There's those people that he proposed to his girlfriend at a Comic Con in front of Patrick Stewart. And he goes, Engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Make it so. Anyway. Uh, and we'll Smart. see you guys in the next video. So excited. Bye. The Beverly Hillbilly. I know. Okay. I did that a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I, I know. talked about it. <laughs> I know the Beverly Hillbillies. I love the Beverly Hillbillies. One of my favorite shows. Did I tell <laughs> you one that song we wrote? I tried to write words for it, and it came out the Beverly Hillbillies theme. So now I can't hear that song anymore. It was rap. But you know, here's a little story about a man. And it's <laughs> one of our songs. <laughs> uh. Thirteen sixty nine has a question. Brian Sexar. Sexuar. Sexuar. Sexual healing. And Terry Starks. Not to be confused with Tony Stark. Okay, you ready? I am ready, Brian Lolly. <laughs> Sorry. So the MTV just turned 35 years old. Help celebrate 15 years of music. Yes. <laughs> I've seen that one.